For the third time in the past four years, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is opening bays on the Bonnie Carey Spillway structure. Heavy rainfall in the upper Mississippi and Ohio River valleys has caused the Mississippi River to reach major flood stage. The structure is nearly 7,000 feet long and has 350 bays that can be opened. Based on the river forecast, not all of the bays are expected to be used. We anticipate with the forecast flows coming down the river that possibly 200 of the bays on the structure will possibly be open. The opening of the structure mimics natural flood events that occurred on nearly an annual basis before the river was levied. The influx of fresh water is vital to keeping salt water from overtaking the ecosystem. When the salt water comes in, the forests convert to marshes. So these sorts of events are really important for keeping those forests fresh. The introduction of fresh water is helpful to some organisms and can be a detriment to others. Some things benefit and some things lose. So fish like speckled trout are going to lose, but trees like bald cypress are going to win. And that, there are, that whole thing goes across the spectrum. One of the biggest concerns is the nutrient load in the river can have negative consequences on water quality. But these problems are usually short term. And those al algae blooms that occur can create fish kills and low oxygen events that are immediate impacts to the fisheries. There's some evidence that the long-term effects of the introduction of nutrients actually has an increase uh, in the aquatic ecosystem. The structure is capable of diverting up to 250,000 cubic feet per second of river water through the spillway. How long it remains open will be determined by the volume of water flowing in the river. They'll try to maintain a flow of 1.25 million CFS continuing past the structure uh, down towards New Orleans. And then so the closing operations we anticipate towards the end of March, maybe early April. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gosho reporting.